welcome to another video. Today we're going to be um, doing a kitting down. I'm going to be kitting down two diamond paintings. <clears throat> this one I said it says 714 birds. I think this is the Coup Deal birds. It got 40 by 70 round. And this one says 598 gnome. So I'm going for it's a gnome, but it was probably like a 25 by 35 um, centimeter one because it's in this here. And I do tend to kit down more than one of my diamond paintings at the same time. So that's why sometimes it's 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 actually after a good bit after I finish it when I kit them down. Um, so if you haven't seen one of my kitting downs before, this is me putting away my leftover diamond painting drills from finished diamond paintings. You, this is a completely unnecessary step of diamond painting. You do not have to keep your drills. If you don't want to keep your drills, some folks will just um, put all their leftover drills in one of these jars. Now these are drills that I have done so many diamond paintings that these are my trash drills. And what I mean by trash drills are drills that Either it was the wrong color, like sometimes a wrong color gets mixed into um, into drills, and then you just put it up, and then you just put it off to the side. Or these ones had in, enough of an imperfection in it that I didn't want to use it in the diamond painting, or I didn't like the color, and for whatever reason, I pick it off of the diamond painting and replace it with a different color. Because just because it's that's what color it is on the pattern doesn't mean you have to do it. <clears throat> so. I do have, these are photo boxes here. I do have um, three of them for my rounds and each um, DMC, which if you see on a lot of diamond paintings on the pattern, it, on, the can, on the canvas, they kind of look like this where they have a symbol and then they have, so there's a number here, usually that's, you know, one, two, three, four, five, a symbol, and then this number here, and that number is the DMC. And lo lots of times they do match each other, so, um, well, they should match each other, so they are, you know, they should be matchable. And then I do have individual baggies for it, and I do color sh match, and I don't know if you can tell, even though both of these were called 824 at one point, this one looks like a different blue than that one. Um, yeah, I think it's visible. Um, this one, let's see, this one looks more blue-blue. This one actually kind of looks like it. Yeah, it's just like a different kind of blue. And yeah, there is some random other colors in there. Um, that's probably from one of my mom's diamond paintings. She does... She does kind of splash when she put her drills back in to storage so that's why sometimes oh okay whatever you could always take them out but I don't <clears throat> and yeah the photo boxes are from Joanne's these cards I cut myself and they're about like 2.1 by 4.1 inches and then these bags are 2 by 3 inch bags um, I link everything below and <clears throat> And if you want to print out these um, labels here, I do have them in the shared templates um, link below. I also have every single kind of label that I've tried, I've made before. So there's several versions of them because at some point I liked it, and then and then I changed my mind. So stuff like that happens. <clears throat> I'm gonna use a ruler to remember my place in the box. <clears throat> that looks different. So when it's a different shade, I will put it into a different I feel like I need light, extra light. Actually, it doesn't look different. Okay. <clears throat> Sometimes it looks different and it's not. I don't know. I don't, you can mix them if you want to. I don't like mixing the shades. So, yeah. No. Three. 
304. You could always say just take the bags out one at a time. You don't have to have all the bags out like I do. Um, I mean, all the boxes out. Let's see that one looks like it looks like this one. No! Look at that. What am I looking at? I said I need more, more light. I just totally messed that up. Yeah. I got out some of it. Nope, I totally messed it up. I think I need I need all the light I can get. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm like, am I blind? I thought it matched one, and then of course it didn't. Okay, now this one looks really different. It looks more brown. I'm gonna turn off one of my lights. I have like too much light, maybe. Yeah, see that looks that looks different. Yeah, see, I don't know what that looks brown. Let's see if I have three, five, five. I do have more than one set of these round labels. Um, that I got from some, I forgot where I got the round labels from. It was from one of my PR packages. They, they pretty much sell them at any of the budget dime painting stores that I do a PR package for, so. Okay. 436 I apparently have multiple versions I'm not sure why I separated these out I'm gonna mix no I'm not just them separate yeah I don't know I don't know why I have these separated they look the same. This one looks brown. I think. I don't know. <laughs> this one. Yeah, that one looks brown. I'm going to mix these two because I don't know why I have them separated. Separated. I've been starting to put the labels at the top of the baggie just because it's easier to see from my containers when it's higher up instead of under the <clears throat> instead of under the zip <clears throat> 535 <clears throat> I can see why I have them separate Looks 
like this one more. like it doesn't look like either one of them. I might I'm gonna put it in with this one as actually looks like this one. I wonder if it's because I'm using these thicker bags. I do remember when I was switching over to the thicker bags, someone left a comment saying that the thicker bags start getting cloudy and it's much harder to shade match. And this could be, this could be the reason I'm having the issue with the shade matching is because they are getting cloudy. So it looks like a different shade. And then you put it into a baggie and <laughs> it's the same shade. Yeah, I wonder if I wonder if the they are starting to become my bags are starting to become cloudy. So I'm using like four mil bags so that the bags wouldn't like the drills that are not that full wouldn't just sink underneath. wouldn't sink underneath and and well okay Goodness. it's like so different okay oh my gosh I feel like this matches none of them I'm like pondering whether to mix them because <laughs> it's just how many 728s can I possibly have? Okay, I'm very much contemplating just tossing, putting, mixing this together, even though it's not. Yeah, that's not too bad of a match. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Seven of forty one. Okay, one is just a little bit darker than the other. like this lighter one. See, the thing is, when you put the extra light, it's not, it doesn't look as nice on camera. Seven fifty eight. Ooh. I 
don't feel like it looks like any of these. Eighty-three looks different, also. But then, when I pour it into a baggie, it does look like it'll match. I was wrong. Eh, there's a mixture of <laughs> it's a slight mixture now. <sighs> I'm figuring if they look close enough, even though after you put them, mix them together, you can tell there is some differences. If they look close enough, it won't make too much of a difference if you're putting it onto a diamond painting. Unless it's in the color block section. But even then, it could give it like texture, right? Okay, the diamond painting texture. 817. Coral red. I feel like it looks lighter. Nope, it's the same color. Eight one nine. Okay. All right, I see why I have these separate. more like this one. So um, I do separate out my rounds and my squares. I didn't used to, but I've been diamond painting too long, so I have too many spares. Um, it was getting too much to have them all in one box next to each other because I do have multiple bags for multiple shades and can you imagine if I had multiple shades in both uh, squares and rounds it would just be too much so it's just easier and I was I, I hadn't done it but I, I could just totally see myself accidentally putting my square into a round bag and all that stuff <laughs> and like I said, this is an unnecessary part of diamond painting. I just don't like the idea of throwing away the drills. And I have done some projects with my spare drills. Most of the time it's been cross-stitch conversions. Because these are the same... Um, this is the same like color code that cross stitch uses 
So if you have a cross stitch pattern and you have a blank diamond painting canvas, you can do this one. You can diamond paint the cross stitch pattern. on a blank diamond painting canvas. And you know, it's only happened to me a few times, Not, but you can also run out of drills in a diamond painting. So, and then, and then there's some companies that will send you the drills if you go tell them I ran out of drills from them um, but sometimes by the time I run out of drills it's at the very very end of a diamond painting right because you would hope you only run out at the very end of a diamond painting and lots of times I'm just like I want to finish it so for me to go just finish it I go into my stash and hopefully I have the drills and since I've been diamond painting so long well I don't know if it's so long I've been diamond painting since 2020 so I've been diamond painting for a couple years um, I've accumulated a good amount of spare drills, so I don't really worry anymore about running out of drills. I don't really worry if I spill like my drill container, I am like on the floor. I am more likely to just get a broom and sweep that, those fallen drills and toss them. Well, first I usually check if I have it in my stash. I'm like, okay, do I, how much do I need to save this? And if I'm like, yep, I do need to save my drills, then I might try to sweep the <laughs> drills off the floor. But most of the time, I've been like, oh, I have spares. Eh, who cares? And there are also substitute. Um, there's like DMCs, like you could check out. Um, there's a lot of DMC substitution conversions like like where you're like I ran out of 958 or something but I don't know 701 looks exactly like it or similar enough to it that you could replace it with that one I've done that too and it seems to work out okay okay this will look a little different okay it looks like this one So it's off camera, but I do have like an envelope over here that I'm just sticking my labels. And I'm using tweezers to remove the labels because ever since I started putting the nail wraps, it's been pretty difficult actually to peel labels. So yeah, when before I used to have my bare nails. Um, and then I was like, wait, I could use the one of the so many tweezers I have. So this is one of the many tweezers that I have. A lot of diamond paintings come with these tweezers. Three, seven, six, eight. I 
think it looks like this one. don't think it matches this one looks like it might be this one okay And these labels I made myself, scanning the legend to make the labels off of it. One. Which one is 21? I think it was 939 was 21. So, so I'm just going to do that one first just because. So this one, this was the primary background color. And this is where you have that unfortunateness when when folk when like diamond painting companies do like uh, give you ten percent or twenty percent more. Well, twenty percent of a big number is still a big number. So then, so like let's say it needed like ten thousand drills, and twenty percent of ten thousand drills is what like two thousand drills. So that's like two thousand drills extra. Do you really need two thousand drills extra? So yeah. So my 939s, um, I do have um, a bag here and it's relatively full and then I have like this sticker here, I don't know if you can tell, I got like these happy face metallic stickers from the Dollar Tree and when I have one of those I know that I actually, so I showed that I had three boxes here but there's some colors I just get so much of that I don't, I I put my overflow in a different box. So this is not as pretty of a box. This is everything I have tons of. Um, this tin is actually um, a, the cookie tin from Christmas from Costco. If you buy like their European cookies, that's what they call it. The European cookies at Costco. Um, <laughs> this is the tin from it. And then I just have, like look at I have how many bags of 310 in here, you know. So this is the stuff that I have tons of. It's not as pretty, but like I said, I have tons of this stuff. And I have already one bag and a half bag of 939. I'm probably going to fill up this bag here of 939. I'm going to take off the piece of paper because it's going to be full enough that it's not going to need the piece of paper to stand up. See, that's the reason I was using these thicker bags in here is because otherwise um, it's too flimsy and it doesn't it doesn't stand up and it might just swoop into the bottom of God, look at all my 939. Can I fit this in here? There. So that's, that was like just how many leftover 939 there was from just one diamond painting.
Where's my tweezers? There we go. Oh yeah, I think this is this is label labels that I made from my Zyron sticker maker. So perhaps the paper isn't as thick. The paper that um, the inventory sheet that came with it isn't as thick as my labels, so it's a little bit more difficult to take off. All right, so now we're just gonna start. In the beginning, I just remembered I had that large amount that I just put off to the side there because it wasn't fitting in all my bottles. Okay. 152. Yeah, that matches. Yeah, usually the stuff in the bottle, I don't usually need the tray because... It'll just easily pour into there. I don't trust my pouring into the... I don't trust my pouring into... I might just use my nails. Oh, my nail wraps are like a week old already anyway <laughs> more than a week old so I, I do notice at least in the cheaper ones I get from Amazon the nail wraps that at some point I don't know if you can tell um, the tip the white tip it like it starts shrinking back so you do start seeing the white tip of your nail so and I don't know if it's all of that all of them do that because I've only really gotten the cheap ones I did do I did get one from Lily and Fox though and that one actually lasted a good while um, I was able to record like three um, weekends of it because it lasted a little bit more than two weeks and I, I would have probably kept it on longer. It's, it was just that, no, it did start kind of, um, it did start kind of peeling off. Uh, it, my, my, and it, my hair started getting caught in it. So. I think it's this one. not coming off as nicely I think it has more to do with the paper and not the sticker maker or anything 581 okay I have two different shades why do I have these as two different shades they actually look the same am I just like yeah, I have no idea why I separated these shades out. But I am, if I do mix them, it is going to be get bigger, so I'm going to actually transfer it to my... I'm going to transfer it to my... stash. Yeah, I don't know why I had that. Oh, and I should keep some. I should keep some for color 
purposes, for color matching purposes. All right. Five eighty one. So this this is how I keep my boxes here not overflowing. Is I do trans. Oh wait, um, I forgot that I do normally put a sticker here to tell me that there's another bag. Otherwise, it's hard to know I ha if I have more. I guess I could look, but then if I see the sticker, then I know that there's more. Ooh, 603, I apparently have three different shades. Looks like this one. Seven. Okay, it looks like this one. This one's like really different. both of them see there's just one that's a little bit more cream like this one looks more like a dirty like grayish cream <laughs> but I don't know if you can tell yeah see one looks more cream like and one looks a little bit more grayish cream but obviously I've been getting both of them so who's correct I don't know look more like that one. You know, this one looks lighter than that one. Now that I put it in, it the one that I put in is a little bit lighter than what was in there, but oh well. <laughs> I'm on the, it looks close enough. <laughs> matches this one here.
$7.92. Okay, do see why I have them as separate? It looks like this one. I don't know if you can tell there's this one is like a, a different it's like there's just two just two different shades um, but I've gotten it seems like both a couple times so I guess it depends on manufacturer or I might have gotten one shade once and it was just a lot because that happens too like you saw how much um 939 i had put away okay this does look like this one so much 939 that I had like a whole separate baggie that I never had to get into so I think this one I'm matching my my bags a little bit more. I'm wondering if the other one had some DMC substitutions. Um, I remember someone leaving a comment one time that some of the ones that don't match at all could just be at the time they were manufacturing the diamond painting, um, that DMC, they ran out of that DMC, so they so they replaced it with a di different DMC, but they didn't say it. Did I miss 822? Oops. That's okay. I don't I leave all my boxes out anyway. I feel like it matches none of them. There was there I was just saying that oh my stuff is matching. <laughs> it's because I said that. Yeah, I'm on the right DMC. Because I said that, wait, probably do have the 
circle label for this one. Am I on the wrong thing? My A22 here is like blue. And <laughs> nope, this is supposed to be beige gray. What I'm guessing is A20 is this blue. This A22 is like completely wrong. And they just had the same color as the A20. So that's a misprint. I don't want to use it. I poured a little bit in there, checked it. Oh, I don't have any. I guess this is the first time I'm getting this. So even after diamond painting for almost three years, there's still some of colors I don't have any of. And if I had run out of this um, drill on a diamond painting, I would seriously just look up an alternative DMC. I wouldn't go and buy it. Unless I don't have enough of even the, uh, an alternative DMC. Okay, I have. These look a little different. I think it looks like this one. that still that has this is in the very very beginning this was one of my earliest colors um, before I even made my printed labels I just wrote it out <laughs> and I made them as I went along and I just keep the second label in case I need a second bag and then I don't have to make another label
3371. I have actually a good amount of this one left. Like, I pretty much filled up, like, half that bag from just leftovers of one diamond painting. Three, seven, two, two. Three, seven... be one of my very first colors. I still don't have that much of it. <laughs> Three, seven, six, one. I haven't gotten this one either. First time getting this one. Sky blue. Seven six six. Looks like this one here. Seven two. Okay, I have two. Oh, that's not removable. Some of my labels aren't removable. Okay, so it looks like this one. And just just because my labels just come from storage and things like that and I just get so many different kinds they all kind of look the same and some of them are really removable some of them are not and then I just go with it whatever if it's removable it's removable if it's not it's not <laughs> Perhaps, you know, if I ever run out of my current labels because I stopped buying storage or labels to stop, I just stop. Then I'll buy the removable labels, but doesn't seem to be the case. Where I've run out yet.
805. Looks like there's like a different one different shade in there. Just that's just slightly darker. Like that down that one. That one's slightly darker. <laughs> three eight three six. Don't have that much of this one. this I do have just a piece of paper there and I had put in this check mark when I was done perhaps I'll just write on this instead of putting the piece of paper but I was just afraid if I went like this and I would just have the the ink on my hands. All right. So there is <laughs> two more things free for me to kit things more kits, kit up more things. Although I am trying not to kit up too many things. That's why this video is on a kit up day. It's um, Fridays tend to be a kid up video day and I'm trying not to kid up too many things. And now, so yeah, yeah. Because I have, <laughs> I have too many things kitted up that are not done yet. Um, all right, so that's all I have for today. So thank you very much for watching and happy time in painting. Bye.